Hello everyone, this is Jared Taylor from the Biology 112 teaching team here at UBC. And in this video, I'd like to introduce you to the topic of chemistry for biology. So, every year we teach Biology 112 and every year we get asked the same question by students. Why? Why in the world do we have to study chemistry in a biology course? Now look, we get it. You don't want to study chemistry any more than you have to and you are very likely already taking actual chemistry courses here at UBC. And besides, this is a biology class, so like, you know, what the heck? Okay, well let me address that by talking about biology for a moment. Presumably, you signed up for Biology 112 because it is a prerequisite for some kind of advanced biology topic that you are interested in, like cell biology, or perhaps microbiology, or maybe even virology. In fact, there's a whole whack of biology disciplines out there that Biology 112 leads to. And right now, I can hear you asking, okay, fine, but where does the chemistry fit in? Well, that's a good question, and I'm glad you asked. But first, let me continue talking about these biology topics. As you will come to understand, there is sort of a hierarchy to these topics in terms of what is built upon what. If I was to rearrange them into such a hierarchy, it would probably look something like this. Now, to be fair, this might look different depending on what type of biologist you talk to, but since I'm the one doing this, this is what we're going with. Anyway, notice the big three in the middle, zoology, botany, and microbiology. Coincidentally, these correspond to the three biology departments here at UBC. The big three are built upon common concepts that form what is known as cell biology, which is itself built upon concepts of what we call molecular biology. But that begs the question, what are cell biology and molecular biology built upon? Well, there is a missing piece here that we call biochemistry. Now, as I'm sure you can guess from the name, biochemistry itself depends upon concepts from chemistry. In particular, we are talking about chemistry in water since living cells comprise mostly water. In fact, there's a whole bunch of relevant chemistry concepts that are important for biochemistry and ultimately biology. For example, we need to understand thermochemistry, equilibria, organic chemistry and organic molecules, and molecular interactions, both between and within molecules. All of these chemistry concepts and more are relevant to biology. It is important to keep in mind that nothing in biology happens without, at some level, a chemical bond or interaction breaking in one place while a new one forms in another place. Oh, and as a side note, a lot of biology also directly depends on physics, giving rise to another discipline known as biophysics. But that's another story for another time. Anyway, I hope that this video gives you some perspective as to why we need to study chemistry for biology. We will be covering and using many chemistry concepts here in Biology 112, and in future videos I will discuss some of them in more detail.